Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video I draw like a forest with a stream. Um, looking back, these lines in the background right now, if they were vertical, they would sort of add to the illusion that there are trees there. You'll see what I mean later on. And then this stream right down the middle maybe could have been a little bit smaller. I didn't realize until after that, like, streams and forests are often smaller. Not all of them, though. I guess it could go either way. If a stream is that big, it's usually more recessed into the ground. It's not on the surface like that, because it has more powers of erosion over time. It'll sink deeper into kind of like a crevice thing. Though I guess it depends on how hard the soil is. Um, but in forests I think it's usually pretty soft. Anyway, so these are some trees that I'm drawing. I'm trying to build up the layers of trees, starting with lighter and moving on to darker as the trees get closer to the viewer. Um, hmm, I don't know. I kind of wish I made the trees a different, like, more different from the background so that it didn't all blend together. Because you'll see later on when I add the river that the river really stands out. And I think if the trees stood out more, it would, like, make the river look more normal. That's kind of what I'm trying to do right here by adding this brown. Um, not that brown doesn't look like everything else, because there's the brown right there. Alright, so this is how you make reflections in Photoshop. Um, like duplicate the layer and then flip it over. I mean, I'm sure there's a more professional way to do it. Anyway, so now you have the reflection in the stream there. And then I can't really figure out how to make it look like water. I mean, trying to add highlights, a little bit of blue. This is a problem because the rest of the image is so dark that it like really brings it out. Which I guess isn't really that much of a problem. I mean, it's fine. And then, oh look, trying to, trying to highlight the trees, like disperse the attention a little bit. But then that doesn't make any sense because all the trees are like one-sided. So I thought like, what if I put this random color in there? That'll make the trees more interesting. I mean, it kind of did. And then I was going to add a little bit of a lighter color to the ground there. Sort of same reason. Um, here I am messing with some of the settings on the stream. Trying to get it to be a little bit like desaturated or less the center of attention. It's not really a problem that it's the center of attention. It's just like not what I was going for or not expected. So that's like what the whole rest of the drawing is about, is trying to divert attention from that stream. Here I thought, what if there were streaks of light across the whole picture? <laughs> Sometimes this is a good idea. I didn't end up keeping them because I thought they were very cluttery. I don't know. Maybe if I'd left them more minimal instead of trying to fill in the space there, um, I could have kept them. Anyway, that's about it.